Hi and welcome. You are tuned into CPAP for beginners and experts. The title of the show tonight is Four Amazing CPAP Tools That Make Using CPAP Way Easier. I'm your host, Chris, with AffinityHM.com, and here we cover news, product reviews, tips, and knowledge, everything CPAP, APAP, and BiPAP that you need to help you get the best sleep of your life. So here we go. Four amazing tools that will definitely make your CPAP journey an easier and a smoother one. Now, I'm literally going to show you all four of these really fast, and then we're going to talk about each one individually. One, is the CPAP Academy for Beginners. Two, the Knight's Bridge Chin Strap. Absolutely amazing. Three, the CPAP Hose Lift. And four, a CPAP Pillow. So we have all of these on our website. And in just a little while, somebody is going to win a gift card to our website. So in comments, if you're interested in affinityhm.com, just type in comments wherever you are. Uh, Hashtag tools, just like you see there on the screen. Hashtag tools with no spaces, and you're going to automatically be entered into the contest. And please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and, and share it. Share it so that more people can see this video. And uh, as you're in the contest, I appreciate it if you also will share, like, and comment. So, all right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's first talk about number one, the CPAP Academy for Beginners. What this is is many times when people are originally set up on CPAP, it's a very speedy thing that might be done in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes if you're lucky. The CPAP Academy for Beginners is an online course that you can purchase, and it's over a period of seven days that you would see videos of me basically setting you up and teaching you everything that you need to know about not only the CPAP machine, but sleep apnea and Furthermore, so many different tips and tools, and it's basically two hours worth of videos that can be super helpful in gaining you some knowledge. And I'm a big believer in the more that you know about a particular thing, whatever it might be, the more you know, the easier it is to, to actually accomplish and be successful with it. All right. So that's number one uh, out of the four. And the second one is this, the Knight's Bridge chin strap. The reason that I love this chin strap so much. Now, of course, you can go get all of the $10 chin straps on Amazon that you want. None of them are ever going to achieve what this one can do because it truly is better than any other chin strap. And Y'all know I've been doing this for 30 years and I wouldn't share something with you unless it was super excellent. So even if you have a chin strap that you feel is working, I recommend this chin strap. Throw that one away. Try this one. It's called the Knight's Bridge. And I'm going to show you why it is so it is so wonderful. Of course, to know what size you need, you're going to need to take a measurement around your head right here. This is part of what makes it so comfortable is, is that you're going to take a measurement. You'll know exactly which size so that it fits you properly. Now, in the back, this is going to be right around the back in the back of my neck. And I have a little piece here that I can use to tighten that up. So let me go ahead and put this on. I know this is going to be really really cute here in my i'm in my tool room today as you can see these are the cpap tools we're talking about so around back that little velcro piece i'm just going to tighten that up a little bit and then next i'm going to notice there are two straps they call this the dual band chin strap so there's two straps on purpose and for a very good reason this solid one it does not stretch at all and the white one actually is very flexible. So the solid one is the one that's really doing the work in holding your mouth closed, but also it keeps your jaw slightly projected forward, which makes a difference in where your the back of your tongue is, which therefore sort of keeps your airway a little more open. All right. So also many, many chin straps would, would do something like this at, a, at an angle coming back, pushing your jaw back and causing pressure right here, which is very painful actually the next morning. The Knight's Bridge chin strap actually pulls straight up. All right, so let me just show you. I'm just gonna put my, I'm gonna have to stop talking here for a moment, but um, check this out.
Okay, please forgive the dead silence there for a moment. What I did was really just put the chin strap on the way I would just before donning the CPAP mask. And with this particular chin strap, and it's a net mesh material, so it doesn't really get too hot. And uh, it's very effective. And again, when you wake up in the morning with this chin strap, you're not going to have all that pressure on your jaw all night long, which makes it so much more comfortable. And it's very effective. It's going to keep your mouth closed. And uh, so it's really good if you're using nasal pillows, for example, and you're having mouth leaks, uh, or if you even if you have a full face mask, it's fine even in that case to use a chin strap, this chin strap, so that so that there's there's more breathing through the nose. As long as you don't have a deviated septum, uh, this chin strap is is absolutely wonderful all right so let's move on and i'm going to get to your questions also in a little bit uh so we'll hit those questions in a minute the next one is the cpap hose lift now it's getting a little bit cooler uh i'm in alabama all the way at the southernmost part of alabama so it's not as cool here as it is many uh, of your locations all across the country uh by the way throw in your state i'm curious as to what state people are watching from but as the temperatures do begin to get cooler, that is going to make a difference in how your CPAP humidifier uh, affects the air that's inside. So as you know, we've talked about that if the temperature inside of the hose is different from the temperature in the room, that's what causes rain out. So the bigger the difference of those two temperatures, the more rain out. So therefore, the cooler it is in the room, the more likely you might actually have some rain out. So as the temperatures change and, and you turn the heat up in the room, you have a, a higher temperature in, in the room, uh, you may get more rain out in the fall. So you're going to have to make some adjustments in your heated humidifier. But here's a, an item, a tool, if you will, for CPAP that's very effective. Not only is it going to, if there is rain out happening, your hose goes up through that little black loop up at the very top of that pole and then down to you. So all of the rain out that happens between the loop and the machine, the water will simply drip and trickle back into the heated humidifier versus the other option would be for that water to come to you. So a CPAP hose lift is very effective at taking care of the rain out that might be happening. And then another factor is the CPAP hose lift is wonderful just to get the weight of the CPAP tubing off of you and off of your mask. Many times it's actually the weight of that tubing that's causing these leaks in your mask whenever you switch from your left side to your right side, et cetera. Those leaks begin to pop out based on and because of the weight of the CPAP tube. Well, the CPAP hose lift eliminates that completely. So that is tool number three. And we're going to go through them real fast again at the end. But let me show you the fourth one. This is really mostly for those of you who, who do use a full face mask and you like to sleep on your side. There are many, many different types of CPAP pillows out there. This is the one that we, we carry. And uh, it actually has some a, pretty cool features. One, it has a, a layer of cooling and it also has a center layer that can be removed to actually lower the thickness of the pillow so that you can sleep a little lower and flatter. But as you can see in the picture there, there's a little cutout exactly where the full face mask can rest so that it doesn't push that mask up to the side of your face, spring a leak, wake you up or hinder your therapy in any sort of way. So that was tool number four. So i promised I would go through them all again really quickly, just so that you see what I believe are the best, amazing CPAP tools in our tool shed. CPAP Academy for Beginners, an online course that's on our website, affinityhm.com. The Knight's Bridge Chin Strap. It's also called the Dual Band Chin Strap. And like I said a moment ago, don't buy the $10 one. Go ahead and get this chin strap. It's the best one you're ever going to have. And the CPAP hose lift, which is a wonderful little item. It actually collapses also. And by the way, on the CPAP hose lift, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but right here at the middle, at the top of the headboard, there's a little black piece. So it's nice. You can hang your mask right there when you wake up in the morning. And then the last one is the CPAP pillow, which is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful piece of equipment. So Chris from the tool room tonight showing you four amazing CPAP 
uh, tools. And so let's take a look at comments. I'm just curious as to see uh, if you guys have any questions about any of these devices here. I see we have, oh my goodness, everybody's here tonight. All right, wonderful. I see Amy is here. Hello, Amy, and welcome. And uh, Sanuk Weather is with us. Diane is here. Hi, Diane. Uh, Amy, Amy, uh, Judy is with us. Hi, Judy. Welcome. And uh, let's see. Tony is here. Candace is here. Annette is here. Jane is here. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Cornelius is here. I see everybody's getting in the contest, and that's wonderful. Uh, Freedom has a, a comment here. Good evening, uh, sir. Got me a brand new full face Vi Viterra. First time used tonight by review. It's supposed to be the best full face to hold leaks at high pressure. I fit tested it and held it held like a rock. Well, that's wonderful. Yes, definitely. Please uh, let us know how it goes tonight. And uh, we all are always looking for the best one. And the Viterra, I don't have any personal experience, but I have heard and read reviews that it's a wonderful, wonderful mask. All right. So Judy has a question. Do I wear this chin strap over my mask? No, you don't. What you would do with any chin strap is put the chin strap on first. It's usually best to put that on first um, and then put the mask on. Uh, depending on what mask, though, you could actually put the mask on and then the, the chin strap. Um, trial and error is really probably the best answer for that question. All right. And Amy says, I, I have the same hose lift. It is great. That's good. I'm glad that you're liking that. And I uh, see Candace is actually from California. Awesome. 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 Thank you, Candace. Uh, is there anyone here who has already gone through the CPAP Academy that you could tell us what your thoughts are regarding the CPAP Academy? All right. So Judy also says uh, trying to adjust the hose lift because I have an adjustable bed and it doesn't stay. Yeah, I can see how that could be a problem because the base of the hose lift goes be between the mattresses. So with the adjustable beds, I think you only have one mattress. So that could present an issue. I have heard of people taking the hose lift and placing it very close right next to the head of the bed on a table near probably where you would put the CPAP machine, putting some books or something heavy on it to sort of hold it in place. That could be a solution perhaps, depending also on how long the hose is and exactly how that setup is, but uh, perhaps something to try. And uh, I see Sanuk also has the same hose lift, loves it. Great. I'm excellent. Happy to, happy to hear that. Uh, Freedom, I like the stabilizer bar. So Freedom has a stabilizer bar because he's a side sleeper. Hope I like better than my RestMed F20. Hope it sleeps as good as it fits. I believe that it will. I'm a believer in you, sir. I'm a believer in you, sir. Um, all right. So here's a comment from Jane. The hose lift made such a difference for me. I went from fighting a boa constrictor to snoozing like a baby. Awesome. Awesome. That's really great results. Yeah. I've been hearing that from pretty much everyone who gets that CPAP hose lift and they're not expensive either. There's like $15. Uh, plus you guys know you can get a discount. It's our discount code right now is wow. One zero. Wow. One zero W O W one zero. And that gets you 10% off. All right. And I see my mom is here, Georgette Perry. Uh, you guys, my dad uh, uses CPAP. And so they're very interested in, in watching these shows. And uh, I welcome you guys absolutely all of the time. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. Candace says uh, she's most of the way through the course and and had it to be really thorough and great resource. I actually gave the link to my provider. Wow. Thank you, Candace. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. That's one of the great things about the course, too, is that you can consume it really fast, probably in one day if you wanted to, or you can stretch it out over a month or two months or however long you want. It's really it's yours. After you buy it, you have all of these videos. So it also can be a good reference so that, you know, how things are with CPAP. Everything's going great. Everything's going great for months and months. And then, boom, you have a problem. Well, perhaps you can go back to the CPAP Academy and find an answer in there. Uh, of course, I'm aware that most of the information in the course is online somewhere. But you're going to spend hours and hours and weeks and months trying to compile all of that information. So what, what we have done with CPAP Academy for Beginners is make sure that everything that you might need to know is right there in that little seven day 
course. So thank you for that very much, Candice. I appreciate it. All right. If you guys have not already done it, please type into comments, hashtag tools, T-O-O-L-S, and you're going to be automatically entered into the contest. All right. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and, and draw. I'll tell you what, also, let's do this more than once tonight. I want to actually do more than one drawing. We're probably going to do two drawings tonight because one of the drawings we are going to actually, I'm going to give away a membership in the CPAP Academy. I'm going to do it right now. And if you haven't already done it, go ahead and type that into comments, hashtag tools, and we are going to share this screen. Somebody is about to win a free CPAP Academy course. All right. Uh, hopefully you are seeing this on your screen right now. Yes, you are. Wonderful. All right. And I'm about to pull the trigger. Here we go. Let's see who has won a free course, CPAP Academy for Beginners. And the winner of the course is Tony Souza. Tony Souza. Tony Souza, you have won a free course in CPAP for beginners, the CPAP Academy for beginners. So thank you very much, Tony. I see you're watching over on YouTube. So if you would send me an email, all I need is your email address and uh, send that to admin at affinityhm.com. That's admin at affinityhm.com. And I'll send you your course and you can hopefully enjoy that. And please do give me some feedback on it. Uh, love to know if there are any tweaks that you think I should make, anything I should add to the course. We'll be happy to absolutely do that. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's share this screen again. Let's do the drawing one more time. And if you haven't already done, it, it is not too late. Uh, so this drawing is going to be someone is going to win a gift card to affinityhm.com. We got a lot of people in the drawing. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for being here. Every one of you, thank you for joining this contest. The winner is Jane Loyalist. Jane Loyalist. All right, Jane, congratulations. Jane, I think you might have won this before. Um, and you know, I have said before too, it's okay to collect. If you want to collect the gift cards, what would happen is I just add an amount to it. Uh, so, so definitely I appreciate you guys being here. Jane, send me an email to help me remember. So, uh, Tony and Jane, you guys send me an email to admin at affinityhm.com. Everyone else, please remember to like and share. And, uh, I would really, really appreciate it very much if you would share this video out on your page to let people see that there are solutions to their, their problems with CPAP and uh, we want to help them. So I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being here and uh, look forward to seeing you again very soon uh, next Thursday night. And uh, sweet dreams, everybody. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye.